where you've been, what you've done, and what you have done to you. You are the part of the journey that God used you. So like I said, um, I'm bringing the fifth cornerstone, which is we live and breathe the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and I want to go straight into the word. So our uh, course scripture is in Acts chapter 1 in verse 8. And I'll just read. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Okay. So I just need to share like the way, you know, God speaks to us in different ways. And so I'm going to kind of just let you guys tap into like what God was showing me because sometimes he speaks to me in pictures. And um, what he did was he showed me this robot, like a toy robot. And it was sitting on the counter and I saw it like equipped with all these things. Like it had like cool flashing lights, sirens, um, guns and missiles and the sword and uh, and the shield and it could walk and do all these things but none of the functions were on and I saw on the back of the robot there was a huge battery pack and I was like okay what's that and God kind of shared with me that that's the state of a lot of his people that were sitting there fully powered by the Holy Spirit but not activated not turned on he gave me two words after that he gave me the word empowered and activate and so i've been just sitting on the empowered and activate uh, we'll bring that word up <clears throat> so empowered empowered is power and authority given to do something made stronger and more confident especially in controlling your life and claiming your rights and i wanted to kind of focus on that part of claiming your rights because when I started sitting on that, God was telling me, my rights and your rights is every promise in the word of God. Every promise in the word of God is our rights. We walk in that power and we can walk in it day to day. It's whether we want to remind ourselves of it or not. Are we going to let the, the cares of the day distract us from what God is saying is rightfully mine? And so... <clears throat> I just wanted to share, let's go back to the scripture. And it says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And I looked up that, that word power jumped out at me. And I looked it up in the Greek. And that word power is actually, looks like it says dynamis, but it's pronounced dunamis. Everybody say dunamis. Okay, dunamis. And when you look at the scripture, with what dunamis is? So dunamis is power for performing miracles. So, and then it's an inherent part power. This is my favorite part, inherent power. So power that exists in a person that's permanent and inseparable. It's permanent, it's ours, it can't be taken away. It's this power that we have that, you know, that's why I'm saying I, I went back to the scripture and then when you read it like that, and you're saying over here, but I will, and you can say to yourself, I will receive this dunamis power, power for performing miracles. I'm going to receive this power that's permanent, inseparable. I'm going to move in power. It's nothing that, like I said, can't be taken away. So he gave me that word empowered. And like I said, that was already a past tense word. And the second word he gave me was activate. And if you notice this time, another verb action word, but it's in the present. And I believe like when I was studying, like God was sharing with me, like it's here for all of us. It's just we need to realize it. You, you hold the source, you hold the power and we can activate and move in it. And uh, let me just go through the definition here. So activate to initiate, start a function, arouse, awaken, set in motion to propel. When I think of propel, it's like it's like it's launching you further. And some of us have been sleeping if you look at one of the words, it's arouse and awaken. And then some of us, maybe this is the beginning of our walk. This is time to set you in motion. It's time to set you in motion. It doesn't matter if you started like a month ago. It's time to move, you know? So I think that's cool. God gave me this now word because I'm believing for activation today. 